how's it going everybody so today i'm going to teach you how to fix your controller not being recognized by call of duty this method should work for the battle.net version of call of duty however it can also work for steam following kind of the similar steps that we are going to show you here today so it's actually pretty simple what occurs is that there may be some type of issue where your keyboard is being recognized before your controller Therefore, it gives priority to the controller. And then you have that issue where no matter what you press, the controller won't be recognized. Even if you keep disconnecting it or turning it on and off. So what we're going to do is try to override that by having our keyboard turn off when the game launches and turning the controller off. So let me show you what that's going to look like. OK, so I have my phone here so that you can see what we're going to do is have the controller off. Have the keyword plugged in we're going to launch the game through the app and as soon as you hit play wait about two seconds disconnect the keyboard you should hear a little beep that it's being disconnected and then turn on your controller when you launch the game you're going to see the cutscene, and then all you have to do is just press a button and it should cancel the cutscene and throw you into the main menu now you should be able to play with the controller and even be able to connect the keyboard um, without any issues. All right, so let's go ahead and launch the game. And now what we're gonna do is disconnect after about two seconds. You're gonna see the little box pop up. Go ahead and click on the screen. Turn on your controller. And then let's wait for the game to load up. Once you see the cut screen, press start. Really, it shouldn't be any button, to be honest. But as you can see, I'm loading in. On my top right, you see that my controller shows as close for B instead of it being an X for the mouse. And now you should be good to go. That should be basically it. You can now connect your keyboard back in and you should be able to kind of jump back and forth between the two. So again, just to reiterate, when you do get started, make sure your controller is turned off. Your keyboard is plugged in. You launch the game, disconnect your keyboard for about three seconds, or once you see the box of um, Call of Duty loading, it's like a very small box with a character's face in it. You go ahead and turn on the controller and then wait for the cutscene to start. Press any button really, and it should launch you to the main menu that you see here. If it's not working for you, there's other issues that may be occurring, but I suggest you just keep trying this method. And that's literally what I do to play um, and what I found best to work. Now, if you happen to have uh, Steam as a download on your PC and you're using Battle.net to launch Call of Duty, you're going to want to exit Steam on your bottom right corner. There is going to be a little arrow where it says show hidden icons if they're not already showing. And you're going to want to make sure that there's no Steam application open. If there is, just simply right click and exit. And then try the method that I showed you. That way the controller isn't being divided, let's say, into two applications. As well as you don't have that issue where, for example, if you press B, you sometimes see a keyboard come out. So yeah, it's pretty simple. That's basically the method that you would use to fix this issue. Um, if you're having any additional issues, let me know. I'll do my best to help you out. We'll go ahead and troubleshoot together. Hopefully this video did help you out. You consider giving it a like. And hopefully you will also subscribe so you can see my future content. My current schedule is uh, downloading Fortnite on Fridays. Call of Duty uh, content on Saturdays and then Sundays I just do you know a variety of videos that could be shorts uh, they could be tutorials live streams um, just anything really but yeah let me know what you would like to watch next but yeah I'll see you all next time